Hello there and welcome to our final video in our logical operation chapter. Today we're going to talk about Boolean simplifications and more importantly how to get every single mark that we can possibly get from different exam questions. All the exam questions that I'm going to show you today start from our new specification of the EDUCAS A-Level and you will notice in the top right hand corner of my screen you'll see all the laws that we went through in the previous videos. And you're going to need to know these laws in order for us to apply them in our Boolean simplification questions. So let's get started. And the first question we look at looks very scary, but all it says is A or C ended with A and D or A and not D or with A and C or C. And the first thing I look at doing is not distributing, but doing the reverse of our distributive law. So in maths, usually you would distribute or multiply out the contents of the brackets. What we're doing here is we are reversing that process. We are factoring out anything common. So in this case, A is our common term and we're factoring that out. So what I've shown you here is that A and D or not D is actually the same as A and D or A and not D. Hopefully you can see that the process has just been reversed. By applying this step, you would actually get yourself one mark. And on the right hand side, I'm gonna write what rules I have applied, but you don't need to write that in your exam. The examiner will be able to spot what you've done if you keep your work organized like what I'm doing here. The next rule I've spotted is D or not D equals one. And you might ask me how I've spotted that. Well, the or rules on my right hand side, I can clearly see there that A or not A equals one. And it doesn't matter what term I use, I could use A, B, C, D, E, F, G, anything I like, it doesn't matter, the rule still applies. So I'll make sure I write the rest of my term and I'll get one mark for that. And the next step is to look at that A and one. If you and anything with one, the output will be the term you put in. So in this case, A anded with one will be A. Once I've done that, I've swapped the A round to say A and A or C, and I've used the law of commutation here or the commutative law in order to swap that round. And there's a reason I've done this is because in my next step, I can use the absorption law in order to get rid of all of those terms to result in A. So A and A or C just becomes A using the law of absorption. And you've probably guessed it by now, the second half of what's left of my Boolean expression can just be swapped around or canceled out using the law of absorption again to become just C. And that will leave my final result as A or C, and that will give me all of my marks to answer this question. And this question was a 2016 question, and it was worth seven marks. So hopefully by now you piece that together and you could see what steps I've taken to answer this equation. If you're not sure still, go back in the video and rewrite the equation down and have another go at it. Practice makes perfect with Boolean algebra and just by applying all the laws again, you're doing yourself a favor by practicing everything all over again. So for the next question, we have not A and B and C or A and B and not C or A and B and C or not A and B and not C. So the first thing I spotted is that I have in the middle term A and B or A and B. And if you have A and B or A and B, you just have A and B. And the way I like to think about it is if you have a cat and a dog or you have a cat and a dog, you've just got a cat and a dog. And once I've factorized that out, it leaves me with A and B and then inside brackets, I've got not C or C. Then in the next step, all I needed to do was look at that not C or C in my middle term. And I know 
that not C or C will always return me a value of 1. Then, still focusing on my middle term, A and B, anded with 1, will just become A and B, because I've used the rule A and 1 is just A. So now that's what my term looks like. I've managed to reduce down quite a lot of things there, and I just want you to take a moment just to look and take in what I've done. So where to go from here? Well, what I've done is I've swapped round my A and B and my not A and B and not C using the associate law, which allows me to swap terms round to put different parts of my expression next to each other. And you'll see why I do this in the next step. Now, again, I want to use a bit of maths here. I want to factorise or take out any common terms that I've got. And you can probably see that I've got not A and B, and on the other side, I have not A and B. So I can take those two terms out, and then in brackets, I can place my other terms C odd with not C. And if I was to multiply those out, it would give me not A and B and C, or not A and B and not C, which is exactly the same as my term above. So that allows me to factorise it out and reduce that expression even more. Next, I'm going to look inside the brackets at C or not C. And I remember from my rules from before, C or not C will just become 1, and anything anded with 1 just becomes itself. So that reduces my expression down to not A and B. My next step I notice that I've got not A and B odd with A and B. I've got two Bs there. Those terms are the same. Therefore, I can factorise my expression to become B anded with not A or A. Then, because I've got not A or A inside my brackets, that becomes 1 from my rules before. And then again, Anything anded with 1 becomes itself. So the final answer for this expression is B. So again, if you don't quite understand it, go back to the start and go through step by step, pausing my video along the way. Okay, let's have a look at another question. This time we've got something a little bit different. We've got A or B anded with A or B or A anded with not A or B. So now you might be thinking, what is the first step to take here? Well, what I said was I'm going to look at B and A or B, and I've used the law of absorption to simplify my expression here. But now I'm pretty stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some more terms by expanding A and not A or B. And you do this using the distributive law to expand the brackets. I multiply A by not A and A by B, which gives me A and not A or A and B. And I'll write out everything again. And I've noticed that A and not A from my AND rules just gives me zero. And that's perfect for me. And then anything odd with zero just becomes itself. So I can just disregard that zero and that or symbol. And my term now says A or B or A and B. And in the next step, I've used the commutative law in order to swap some of my terms around, which leaves me with A or A or B and B. And then I can just apply my OR rules. A or A is just A and B and B is just B, leaving my final answer to be just A or B. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this now. Just a couple more and we will finish. The next question, I've got A and A or C, odd with A and C or B, odd with C and C or B. So again, in this first instance, I'm going to distribute all of the brackets to give me some options. You might think I'm going around the houses here and there's a lot of terms, but you must stay organised. So that's what it looks like once I've distributed all of my brackets and then I can start applying my rules. I've noticed that I've got 
A and A in there, and also C and C. And I know from my anding rules that A and A is just A, and C and C is just C. And the next step, I've noticed that I've got A and C, or A and C, so I can just say that I've got A and C. In the next step then, I can use the law of absorption to say A or A and C is just A, and that leaves me with the rest of my terms. Once I've done that, I can use the law of absorption again to say A and B or A is just A. And you can probably work out the next step here. I've got the law of absorption for the third time, which leaves me with A or C. And that's our final answer. And that's our last question, and that's the end of this video on Boolean simplification. It's a few things to take from this and remember. You're going to get marks for showing the examiner the steps that you take, so be clear and keep your structure. And don't forget, don't worry if you apply different rules and get to the same solution a different way. That's absolutely fine. The mark schemes often say that alternative solutions are also accepted, providing you get to the correct answer. So have a go and keep practicing. Go back over the video a few times and get the correct answers. And thank you very much for watching.